So you own a Tesla Model 3 or a Y and you don't know where to put your sunglasses? Well, I'm Frugal Tesla Guy and I might have an answer for you. I've owned my Tesla Model 3 since 2018. And upon doing research and reading chat lines and everything of that nature, every once in a while, the question will pop up, where do you put your sunglasses? You know, it's not one of those deal breakers when it comes to buying a car, but sometimes cars do have automatically kind of right in front of the rear view mirror, a place to put your sunglasses kind of built within the car. Well, the test model three doesn't have anything like that. And really the only places to put them would be in the center console, but that's kind of in a deep chasm, if you will. And it's hard to get to your sunglasses, especially if you're driving. But also you could damage your sunglasses, especially if you have nice, expensive sunglasses, you don't want to scratch them. So putting them in the center console like that could scratch them. Now, of course, they do make trays that go into that center console that will put it up higher and has a little slot for your sunglasses. And that might be a good solution for you. But some people don't like having that tray there because then you have to pull that up in order to get to everything underneath it. So it just depends on your personal preferences. So bottom line, what I'm about to show you may not have any interest to you at all, and you may just click off this and stop watching right away. I don't expect this to be a video that gets a ton of views. But for those of you who may think that this could be a good solution, then, you know, again, this may be the answer for you. So this is one of those products that I came across, and quite honestly, I thought, you know what, for 25 bucks, I can put this on my YouTube channel, if I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll return it. If you like it, you can order one and you're a happy camper and we're all just kind of continuing to go on with our business. So it comes in this box right here. And it's, it's a big box actually. Uh, there's a plastic bag that it was in, you know, as standard. There's a tool here that you might need to install this. And that's what it came with. So the actual device itself, it's what you'd expect. It kind of has that 3D printer type feel to it. The plastic's, you know, bad. Quite honestly, it's a little flimsy and I think it feels a little cheap in the fact that, that it's not real hinges. So you have the potential of this thing breaking over time if you pull down on it too much. The mechanism to, to grab this, you can't pull this down. The only way you can actually open this is by pushing it. And that mechanism is basically two cheap little plastic pieces right here that hold this piece right here. So over time, may it degrade and maybe not work so great? Yeah, I don't know, but for 25 bucks, Honestly, you can't go wrong. You just get another one after a couple of years or three years, depending on how long it lasts. So again, is this something I'm excited about? No, but it's a great place. I think you can store your sunglasses. I've done it before in other cars. And to answer your question, yes, it does have some felt in here. So that would also help to kind of protect your sunglasses and keep them from getting scratched. So let's see. First, number, another thing I'd like to mention too is the fact that there are no instructions on how to install it. So you know, I guess they just assume you're gonna get online to see how it's installed. So I'm gonna take a look at that and then I'm gonna show you how I installed this and then we'll see how it looks. A Couple of things of concern, and my son actually brought this up, is how bulky is it gonna look up there? Is it gonna be this monstrosity behind the, or in front of the rear view mirror? Yeah, that's what my son thought it might. And number two, um, I'm curious as to whether or, not it's, whether or not it's gonna block the camera for full self driving. So if it does, then this is definitely a deal breaker because I gotta make sure, especially being in the FSD beta program, I gotta make sure that that camera has access. So we'll see. Um, but let's get out to the car and install it and see how it looks. All right, so we've got basically two clips on each side. You've got uh, two clips right here on the back side or the front side here and then facing toward the windshield, you've got these two clips right here. And these two clips that you see right here, those will go underneath here, and then this will kind of clip up top here. And I think that's where this, this tool here comes into play. So it goes this way, and it looks like, I'm gonna put these down so it's easier to get them installed here, but it looks like I just kind of take this tool and yeah, I don't know. Oh, I just kind of pull it down. So it's just kind of a, all right, so we're in there. So that's, you know, just kind of hanging there. It's on those clips. So I'm gonna change the 
angle of the camera here so we can get on this underside here and see how that installs. So this part here was pretty easy. Let's see how this is. All right, so we've got this hanging here where we left off here, and then these two clips will go underneath uh, this light here and where the hazards are. So again, I guess that's where this little tool comes in. You use the smaller side, it looks like, and let's see if we can figure this out. And yeah, okay, we're in there. It looks like I can move this over left or right, center it up, and it looks like it's in there. I mean, that was really easy. I don't feel like there was any damage to the car. So this is one of those things where you can try it out, put it in, and if you don't like it, you can take it off and it's, you're, you're none the wiser. So, all right, so let's put this thing to the test. You just go ahead and do this. All right, we'll put my sunglasses in there. And there you go. I mean, it's as simple as that. Now, again, it's a little flimsy because this wasn't necessarily made for anything to hang on to. So, you know, when you're opening it and closing it, you'll notice that the headliner here will kind of move around a bit. So, it, again, it's not the most stable feeling, but it feels like it's in place and it's not going to move out. You can kind of move it this way and that way a little bit if you want to adjust exactly where it is. But overall, it's not that bad. The color matches for the most part. It's not an exact match with the headliner here. This seems to be just a little bit of a different shade. And I think partially it's because this is kind of more of a cloth and this is just flat out plastic. So it might be harder to match that. But when I look at the coloring of the plastic of the hazard lights, it's actually very close to that color right there. So I guess it just depends on how you look at it. And to answer your question about the camera, no, it doesn't cover the camera at all. It's not even an issue. So I'm not concerned about the camera as far as full self-driving is concerned or FSD beta. <laughs> So this is probably the least exciting thing I've ever reviewed for my channel. But as I was shooting B-roll for it, the more I got used to it being there, it doesn't stand out. The color doesn't match exactly, but it matches enough. It doesn't stand out. I think the average person coming into this car who maybe doesn't own a Tesla Model 3 or but has been in them maybe a few times, they probably won't even notice it. And as I was sitting in the back seat, yeah, sure. It's, it's something that's there that wasn't there before. So yeah, you're gonna notice it at first, but I think the more you get used to it, the more it's not gonna be a problem for you. Now there is one thing I would like to mention, and that is your, your view in the rear view mirror. It doesn't block it by any stretch of the imagination, but it's important to note that you will see in the top part of your image on the rear view mirror, the bottom part of this. So it, it's not that big of a deal. It, it does stand out a little bit here, but I think when you're driving and you're just looking for traffic, you're not gonna think about that at the very top of it because it's, again, not blocking the view. Um, is it cheap? Yeah, it's cheap plastic. But I've got Maui Jims here. They're average size sunglasses. They fit in here perfectly, just fine. In fact, there's room to spare. They move back and forth here. And if you have slightly bigger glasses in this, I think you're gonna, not gonna have any problems. But my wife, for example, has those bug eye sunglasses. They wouldn't fit in here. So, you know, just understand that normal size sunglasses, yeah, they're gonna fit in here no problem. But as you start getting those big sunglasses, then yeah, you're not gonna be able to use this. So here's the bottom line. If you have been looking for a place to put your sunglasses, but you don't wanna put it in the center console, or you don't want to put it in the armrest or even the visor here and you want more of that traditional sunglass holder feel that you typically have in cars that have them oem then i think this is going to be a good solution for you and 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 the thing is you may look at this from your vantage point looking at it in a video and think it's hideous or you might think it looks nice the thing is you think it looks nice now maybe you get it in your car and you're like oh it doesn't look at all like it did in the video simply put you can put it back in the box 
return it free of charge, you get your money back, and everything is all good. So that's all I've got to say about this unexciting video about a place to put your sunglasses. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.